Today we will talk about the beneficial properties of chocolate and the dangers of its consumption, what is a safe dose of chocolate, what are the advantages and disadvantages, as well as health hazards. This video contains objective facts, tested and reviewed by qualified experts. If you want to be healthy, put a like and we'll get started. First of all, you should realize that chocolate is a confectionery product that has a high number of calories. Many chocolate bars are high in sugar, which is a disadvantage and can also be addictive for some people. However, there is no one absolutely good or absolutely bad product. Chocolate has a number of good properties, mainly due to the cocoa bean content used to make it. Cocoa beans contain large amounts of polyphenol, which are compounds that have antioxidant activity. Antioxidants can bind free radicals that can damage our bodies by causing chronic inflammation, damaging brain cells and blood vessels, contributing to atherosclerosis and cancer. Our bodies also produce large amounts of free radicals from living and eating, as well as being exposed to external factors such as the environment and the quality of the water and food we consume. All of this builds up and leads to oxidative stress, where large amounts of free radicals accumulate in the body. Our own antioxidant system doesn't always cope with this. This accelerates the breakdown of health and leads to unfavorable consequences. This is why it is important to consume antioxidants along with food. Chocolate is not a bad choice due to its antioxidant properties. It helps normalize cholesterol and reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Extensive research has been done to confirm its positive health effects. This means that people were followed for many years, and these people consumed chocolate approximately about 30 grams per day. It turned out that these people who consumed chocolate more or less regularly had 33% less cardiovascular disease, such as myocardial infarction. I note, of course, that this is a study. There's still a lot of factors that influence people here, and was it chocolate that had that effect or some other factors? This all still needs to be studied, of course, but nevertheless, this association has been traced. It has also been found that eating chocolate, if done regularly, improves mental performance. It helps to improve blood circulation in the brain and inhibits the processes of dementia, that is, age-related cognitive decline. It improves the prognosis of Alzheimer's disease patients and generally contributes to better performance. In addition, observations of athletes have revealed higher athletic performance in those athletes who regularly consume chocolate. This is attributed to the fact that the use of chocolate promotes better absorption of oxygen. If oxygen is better absorbed by muscles, it means that energy is better formed in them. And, consequently, athletic performance increases from this. Finally, there has even been a study of pregnant women. Those of them who like chocolate and do it regularly, use it at least 30 grams per day. Their babies are born healthier, stronger, and these are such good properties of chocolate. But it should be noted that this is mostly about high-content dark chocolate. We're looking at more than 70% content. It's always written on the bars. So, the higher the content, the better. Ideally, it should be 80 to 90 or even 100 because all the beneficial properties of chocolate come from the content of cocoa beans in it. All the rest are various impurities. Let's take milk chocolate, let's say milk fats, milk protein, and so on. Yes, these are all good, but they are, first of all, caloric. Second, they're not such healthy fats. And third, milk chocolate is very often sweet. In my opinion, it's always sweet. But dark chocolate can be found with absolutely no added sugar. And so everything I'm saying, of course, applies to chocolate with no added sugar. Because if you find these benefits very attractive and start buying chocolate bars, which contain a lot of sugar, which contain a lot of different milk fats, and the worst thing is God knows what else, then all these beneficial effects can offset the negative effects of sugar in other components that are contained in these chocolates or in bars. But apart from the beneficial properties, chocolate, even the healthiest, very fatty, bitter chocolate has some negative properties. First of all, the calorie content here is nowhere to go. And it should be understood that 100 grams of chocolate have about 550 kilocalories. That is quite a lot, and 100 grams of chocolate some people eat and do not even notice. And this is serious, if you eat 500 kilocalories more every day, it is a big addition to the fat for a month. Therefore, you need to watch the amount of consumption. 
The next situation is, of course, dental health. If the chocolate contains sugar, then it is not good for the teeth. But it is also noticed that in some women, consumption of chocolate provokes migraine. So one should be cautious about it. Well, finally, in the same women, it has been noticed that in democratic age, fasting not on the pause of eating chocolate was associated with a higher incidence of osteoporosis. So if you have brittle bones, you should also limit your chocolate intake somehow. Lastly, chocolate contains heavy metals, namely rock. It has been observed that one serving of chocolate, which is approximately 30 grams, contains 0.3 micrograms of KD. And this is the maximum allowable daily dose. So if you consume more than 30 grams of chocolate per day, there are options of intoxication or at least accumulation of heavy metals in your body, it is not known what it will all lead to. So in general we can summarize that consuming up to 30 grams of dark chocolate with the highest possible percentage with a minimum, and preferably no sugar at all, is likely to carry positive health effects. But you should also realize that all these vegetable semifinals are found in much larger quantities in vegetables and fruits. That is why it is impossible to say that I will eat 30 grams of chocolate and I don't need to eat more fruits and vegetables. I mean, it's not much chocolate. It is most likely an additive for our taste, to improve our mood with some minimally expressed beneficial properties. Exactly because we cannot eat it, it will not be useful. If we eat it 100 grams a day, well, and, in addition, real dark chocolate, and even without sugar. It costs a lot of money. And so not everyone can afford it. But if you are very fond of chocolate, then please, 30 grams a day will definitely not hurt you. More information on this topic, you will find on our channel. Subscribe, please put a like and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.